Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to make a few Lego weapons. As you can see, some of these weapons are so cool that they look like, exactly like a custom gun you'd find in like brick arms or something. So today's video is, is telling you that making your own Lego weapons are easier and cheaper, which technically doesn't even cost you a penny, to make a cool Lego gun. In this whole pile, my favorite weapon of all of these is this. If you're wondering why are they in piles, I just sorted them in piles of light machine guns, or well, just light guns, or say machine guns, because they're mostly all machine guns, and heavy, or let's say light machinery and heavy machinery. Because you know, this, this you can't hold in your hand, of course, because it's nearly like two tons of its weight. So yeah, anyway. So let's start with the easiest gun. The easiest gun is this um, pistol here. It's, it's been changed into a very cool version. So it's very simple. Just get this small tiny pistol. Um, get a minifigure hand. Get a minifigure hand, place it here, like that. And get another minifigure hand, put it on like this. And then put this tube inside it. This was a simple one. Next, we are going to build this one. You might have already seen this in other videos. So first, you get the sniper piece. Put this tube for the um, binocular and then put this um, Technic pin at the front and then this minifigure hand like that. Minifigure hands actually make the gun look, t look more cool than any other thing. So next. Next we're going to build a flamethrower. It has quite a lot of pieces, but it's so simple to make. So, first you get this, put this into it, and get this. Next, place this into here for the actual tube, and then get this. Put this on the front for like the design of the gun because you know you can't just have a plain simple gun that no one likes. You need to make it like designative. I know it's a gun. Guns don't matter whatever they look like but it needs to at least look cool for people to use it. Because it might be like even the strongest gun in the world but it looks so ugly. So yeah, here it is just a few more pieces so just place this here right now it looks so cool and then place this technic pin with a stud inside it and here it is sadly i don't have a minifigure with me to show you how how cool they look on a minifigure so next we're going to go on to a rifle this one's this one was actually more simple than the previous one and less and it has less pieces than the other. So first you get this T piece. Put this robot hand here like that and then put this this modular piece on the other side of it. This tube this tap piece and a minifigure hand. Sadly, I don't have any spare grey or light grey hands, so that's why I used this hand, and it looks way cooler. And next, we're going to move on to a new category, heavy machinery. So, our easiest one is this RPG-7, so let's start. So first you get this, place 
um, this cone, well, like a drink top, backwards, then this bit like a cone piece for, like, the back of the RPG-7, and then you get this, here, and place, oh, wait, wait, wait. um, you place this into here, um, put this into here like this, and then place the rocket there, and then place this into here, place the rocket there, and here we have it, the RPG set. So, next we're going to make my favourite gun. I'm not sure what it's called because this is like my own custom weapon. You can't find it anywhere else on, except on this channel. So, first you get this. Like a tap piece and then this robot hand. Next you get this block with like a hold off to put like the tube in the gun then you get this technic pin place it in so we can like turn this around instead of being it like that you can actually put an extra stud like that and next you get another tap piece right now it looks like rid literally ridiculous until we place this robot hand and then this piece for when I usually use it for Among Us hands like this. Now we're moving on to the biggest gun of all time, which you can't really hold in your hand. So, first you get this and then place this on top. These two studs a six studded brick place six of these um Lego um studs on each on one side and then this antenna piece next you get a stud with a toothpiece place it on and then you get this clip like that and next um you get a tube again and then these cylinder pieces three of them usually i use two but this time for these weapons, I usually use two, but this time I'm using three. And then one of these um, bottle tops. And then a pin with a stud. So here it is. This is how all the guns look like. This video hits 10 likes I will promise in the future I will build another set of guns hope you guys like it subscribe to see my videos bye guys